Silicone is one of those materials we encounter every single day without realizing just how remarkable it is. It's in your kitchen utensils, in your phone case, in medical implants, in sealants around your bathroom tiles, and even in the aerospace industry. But if you were to ask people what silicone actually is, most would shrug or confuse it with silicon, the chemical element used in computer chips. So today we're diving deep into the world of silicone, what it's made of, why it's so useful, and how it became one of the most versatile materials in modern life. And by the end of this video, you'll never look at your spatula or your baking mat the same way again. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To understand silicone, we first need to break down its origins at the molecular level. Unlike plastic, which is made from carbon-based polymers derived from petroleum, silicone is built on a backbone of silicon and oxygen atoms. Silicon, the element, is the second most abundant material on Earth, found mostly in sand and quartz. When silicon is extracted and combined with oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon, it transforms into silicone, a synthetic polymer with a unique hybrid structure. This structure gives silicone the best of both worlds, some properties of rubber and some properties of plastic, but with far superior durability. That's why scientists love it, engineers rely on it, and consumers unknowingly benefit from it every day. One of silicone's most impressive qualities is its resistance to extreme temperatures. It doesn't melt in the oven, it doesn't crack in the freezer, and it can survive environments that would destroy ordinary plastics. In fact, silicone can often withstand temperatures ranging from negative 60 degrees Celsius to 230 degrees Celsius, or even higher depending on the formulation. This is why silicone cookware became popular. It can be tossed into the freezer, then straight into the oven without warping or degrading. Beyond the kitchen, this thermal stability also makes silicone invaluable in automotive parts, electrical insulation, and aerospace components, where materials have to withstand rapid temperature swings without losing their integrity. Another important feature of silicone is its flexibility. Silicone rubber can bend, twist, stretch, and compress without losing its shape. This makes it ideal for things like gaskets, seals, tubing, waterproof phone cases, and even wearable medical devices. The secret lies in its molecular bonds, which allow movement without breaking. This elasticity combined with its chemical stability enable silicone products to last years, even decades without hardening or becoming brittle the way many plastics eventually do. Silicone is also naturally water repellent, which is why it's used as a sealant in bathrooms and kitchens. It doesn't allow water to seep through, and it adheres strongly to glass, metal, and ceramic surfaces. Because of this waterproof nature, Silicone sealants became the industry standard for construction and home improvement. If you've ever applied that thick, gooey, white, or clear substance around a sink or window, that's silicone doing its job, preventing leaks, stopping drafts, and keeping mold at bay. Now, one of the most fascinating applications of silicone lies in the medical field. Medical-grade silicone is exceptionally pure, biocompatible, and non-reactive. It doesn't irritate the skin, doesn't trigger allergies, and doesn't degrade inside the human body. This makes silicone an ideal choice for implants, prosthetics, baby bottle nipples, contact lenses, and even artificial heart components. In fact, silicone has played a major role in modern medicine since the 1940s, helping create devices that enhance mobility, restore function, and save lives.
But silicone isn't just about flexibility and durability, it also has useful electrical properties. It's an excellent insulator, meaning electricity can't easily pass through it. This is why silicone is widely used to coat wires and cables, protecting them from heat, moisture, and damage. The electronics industry also uses silicone to encapsulate delicate components, shielding them from environmental stress. Even though silicone is not the same as silicon, both materials play crucial roles in modern technology. While silicone is incredibly versatile, it's not perfect. For instance, it doesn't break down easily in nature, which raises concerns about environmental impact. Silicone isn't biodegradable, meaning it won't simply disappear over time the way organic materials do. However, unlike plastic, silicone doesn't release microplastics when it degrades and it's generally considered less harmful because it doesn't leach toxic chemicals. Some specialized facilities can recycle silicone, but it's still not widely available. So while silicone is safer and more stable than most plastics, it still contributes to long-term waste unless properly recycled or reused. Another point of confusion is the difference between silicone oil silicone gel, and silicone rubber, three very different forms of the same material. Silicone oil is a slippery liquid used in lubricants, hair products, and polishes. Silicone gel is soft and cushioning, perfect for medical bandages, prosthetics, and shock-absorbing pads. Silicone rubber is the solid, flexible form used for baking mats, phone cases, and countless everyday items. These variations exist because silicone can be engineered into almost any consistency, from runny fluids to spongy solids, simply by adjusting the formulation. Few materials offer this level of versatility. In the end, silicone is more than just a synthetic material, it's a cornerstone of innovation. Its unique structure, Thermal resistance, flexibility, and chemical stability have made it indispensable across dozens of industries. And even though we rarely stop to appreciate it, silicone continues to evolve as researchers develop new formulations for advanced medicine, sustainability, and high-tech engineering. The next time you pick up a silicone spatula, place your phone in a silicone case, or see a silicone sealant around a window. You'll know there's far more to this extraordinary material than meets the eye. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.